is the Hollywood Chronicles with Frank McKay. With Frank McKay. Tune in each week for exclusive interviews with your favorite celebrities. Frank McKay here. So much more importantly, Katie Sackhoff is here with us and uh, always thrilled to talk to her. What a uh, really what a pleasure it is. And uh, it, so many people uh, around the uh, you know, certainly around sci fi uh, love her. But everywhere else, I mean, uh, I know someone uh, and if you say uh, Katie Sackhoff, they'll, they'll say bitch pudding. You know, from Robot <laughs> Chicken, and uh, and uh, she's terrific. She's been there, uh, just uh, forever there, and you remember. But The Mandalorian is upon us. The third season of The Mandalorian, and it's it's almost ridiculous to say it was a surprise hit uh, when it first came out. But it was surprising how universally loved. It was, and for good reason. It's just really terrific, and Katie Sackhoff is a big reason why. Katie, how are you? I am so good. Good morning. How are you? Yeah, well, good. Yeah, good morning to you. I, I've I've got to say it again. I mean, like it, it's almost ridiculous to say something uh, that has anything to do with Star Wars or Disney is a surprise hit, but it was surprising how uh, how universally embraced the Mandalorian uh, was. Uh, when when it first came out, I uh, I mean, am am I crazy to say that, or or do you uh, did you kind of have that feeling? No, I mean, I I think you're right. I I I think that everyone has been craving Star Wars all, all the time. You know, we all love it, but at the same time, I think that what John and Dave and Disney were able to do was bring back that feeling that we had from the original movies. And um, and I think that what's so beautiful about this is that you can sit down and watch The Mandalorian with your entire family, and you can sit down and watch it with the biggest Star Wars fan or someone who's only ever seen The Mandalorian, and they all love it equally. And that is something that is so incredibly special, and it is the reason why it is so successful. You know, it's uh, you, you brought up something uh, interesting there, and and I, I, I've said this too that it is standalone, right? You could watch it not knowing anything about Star Wars, and yeah. uh, and and you can uh, get it. When you first read it, I don't know if you heard a description or if you heard uh, or you saw a script right away. What what was your first reaction uh, to it and to your character? Um, how, uh, how did you react to, to it and, and how did it first come in front of you? Oh gosh. Like, uh, you know, I had heard of, of the show, the Mandalorian and I, I cornered Dave Filoni and I said, you know, my character is still alive, Dave. And, um, she is a Mandalorian. And, and so he sort of chuckled and, and, you know, I thought brushed me off, but a few months later, I'm sitting across from John Favreau, who's asking me to to play the same character that I've been voicing for over 10 years in the new show. And, and I was just shocked, blown away, all of those things. And, and I think that, you know, I think that she fit really well in that universe. And, and I think that um, the fans are excited to see more of her. Yeah, it's just uh, you know amazing. By the way, all these names that uh, that you're mentioning, there's there's so much talent in uh, in that room and in just in that conversation. Yeah. And uh, you, you know, you mentioned John. Uh, how how long have you you known John? And and pardon my ignorance on this, but did you work with him in the past? So I had never met or worked with John. He he is literally on my bucket list of people that I wanted to work with from from the very early days of Swingers. I absolutely loved him and watching him and Rudy. I think he's so talented. Um, and um, uh, but never had the opportunity. And and someone like Dave Filoni, who I got to work with during Clone Wars and see him work and and his knowledge of the world. Um, you know, he's been a friend and and uh, you know someone I've loved working with. And so these these two guys have taken this world and and this universe and and really respected it and 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 just added to it and and that is something that is so beautiful i don't think there is anybody in the world maybe other than mr lucas himself that knows more about star wars than dave filoni yeah I, you know i was he I was may just... actually know more than george at this point 
I, I would, boy, I'd love to be a fly on the wall in, in some of those conversations that are happening, um, uh, you know, bet- between any of those uh, names that you just mentioned. Just uh, absolutely amazing to me. But it, if you think of the pressure that, uh, you know, and, and since uh, all of you have, but especially those guys, when they bring something to uh, to to the world like this, uh, and and you know, it sounds you know, it sounds almost silly to say uh, pressure, but it is. I mean, you know, they're they have this this franchise uh, in in their hands, and they are open to uh, some vicious attacks if they if they don't handle it right. And I mean, they just hit it out of the park. I think all of you have, and and you've got to be very pleased with looking back on uh, on on what you've done, and certainly looking forward to uh, to what's coming up in the future. Uh, I I imagine it's a good feeling. It, oh, absolutely. I mean, I think that that's the thing, right? Is that y- you you want to make everybody happy. You know that you can't, but but that is always the goal. You know what I mean? So I think what it comes down to is I think these guys are fans themselves, and I know that they are fans themselves, as am I. And so what I do is I, I do what I think is best for the character as a fan of the show and, and as somebody who knows her as well as I do. And, and then you just you, – you, you hope that it translates for the fan base as well. And, and the fact that it has and that there's so many – people that love this show is amazing uh katie you always have so much going on uh tell us anything else that we should know uh about uh you know beyond uh the mandalorian and and uh you know anything you want to fill us in on and certainly before you go uh, make sure we get your websites and social media sites so we can follow along with what you're doing Oh my gosh, absolutely. I, you know, so I have uh, a bunch of things that I can't talk about, sadly. Yep. Um, but I, I just finished a movie with Josh Hartnett called, called Fight or Flight that I'm really excited for people to see as well. If you like action movies, you're going to love this movie. So um, uh, really excited about that one. And then, like I said, a bunch of things that I just absolutely cannot talk about, sadly. Yeah. Well, hey, listen, it's. Uh... I, it's understandable. It's it's uh, it's. I'm sure it's frustrating for you. You got all these uh, different things. Any anything that you can give us on on season three that wouldn't be considered uh, a spoiler, but any, anything we should be looking out for, especially with with your character. Well, you know, I, I think that uh, I think that there's a lot of people speculating that there's going to you know that that there's going to be some big big fighting between din and bo uh this season and and you know uh i would say that that it does it does look that way um so uh you just hold on to your hold (laughs) hold on to your best scar because it's going to be an interesting season Listen, Katie. Uh, congratulations on on your whole career. It's just, it's absolutely wonderful. But certainly, uh, your work as Bo-Katan and uh, the Mandalorian. Um, uh, thank you very much for being here, and hope to talk to you again real soon. Oh, it's my pleasure. I'm I'm super excited for everyone to see this season. I think you're going to love it. Yeah, every everyone tune in. Thank you, Katie. Katie Sackoff, everyone, has been our very special guest and, and she's just she's terrific. Everything that you've ever seen her in, you you have to uh, just kinda uh love her in and you know, so many people know her from uh, Battlestar and um and uh, Longmire, uh Robot Chicken, as I said. Uh, you know, some people just know her. I, yeah, I, actually, I, I know a lot of folks that are into Robot Chicken. I don't know if, if, if everybody's caught on to that, but, you know, I imagine most pop culture people, people that are heavily into co- pop culture, love that. Uh, Seth Green and uh, the the guys over there uh, have, uh, you know, turned that into a, I mean, a real serious uh, a franchise, uh, you know, the, what are they, 15-minute spots or 11-minute spots, you know, the Adult Swim there, but she voices bu- uh, Bitch Pudding, that's the name, Bitch Pudding, and, and that's a character that um, kind of goes along with the with the name, very funny, uh, she's, uh, she's uh, t- uh, terrific uh, in that, but uh, pop culture fans know her from Battlestar Galactica, and certainly uh, all the Disney uh, well, d- uh, the uh, Star Wars uh, and, and Disney work that she's doing is Bo-Katan. And um, uh, The Mandalorian is a, um, uh, is, is uh, you know, a, a series that, uh, you know, again, uh, you know, she mentioned John, uh, John Favreau. And, you know, he's someone who, uh, you know, took on Marvel with, uh, with Iron Man and, uh, and, and so much uh, else. So when he gets into something, when he, uh, you know, when he does something, um, he's, uh, 
uh, he's he's got instant credibility. But he obviously uh, is a fan himself, uh, Favreau, um, or he wouldn't he wouldn't get away with it. You know, he wouldn't get away with uh, um, you know putting you know certain touches in there. And, and you know, like Iron Man, look at look at the work that he's done on uh, in the Marvel universe and how the Star Wars universe. Um, yeah, I mean, John Favreau is a, a you know a brilliant brilliant guy, and you know she mentioned Swingers, and it's uh, the first place we've got to see him, and uh, and you know see his work and him and Vince Vaughn. Um, uh, you know they l- listen they they put out a. Uh, you know, like a fun little movie about, you know, Vegas and, you know, guys, uh, you know, out there looking for women and uh, whatever. And, you know, you never know what somebody like that is going to turn into. And, you know, he's turned into a monster, you know, and a, a, a real serious uh, top flight um, producer, director, writer and, and all of those things. And uh, so few people do it as well as John Favreau. Uh, just you know, just mentioning there. But Katie Sackhoff has been our very special guest, terrific actress and voice actress, and and she's just great. Uh, Star Wars: The Clone Wars and uh, Star Wars Rebels, uh, Robot Chicken, as I mentioned, and Battlestar Galactica. Uh, certainly, um, uh, star, uh, sci-fi fans love her, and, and they should. She's terrific. Katie Sackhoff. Uh, Sackhoff has been our very special guest. Frank McKay signing off. We'll see you next time. You've been listening to The Hollywood Chronicles with Frank McKay. McKay. Tune in next week for more celebrity interviews with your favorite Hollywood stars.